Yo, so how's it going guys? Welcome back to another GTA 5 video. So as I'm sure all of you guys are aware, right now there's a UFO event going on in GTA 5 Online where a new UFO will spawn into the map every single day that you guys have got to go ahead and take a picture of. Now it looks like Rockstar Games have actually messed up this event and there's been a ton of bugs and reports from players of the UFOs not even spawning, which has resulted in Rockstar Games responding and actually making changes changes to the UFO event which I'm going to be fully explaining in this video so for all of you guys that maybe missed one of the UFOs previously don't worry there still is an opportunity for you guys to go ahead and complete this challenge now I'm also going to be talking a bit more about this space docker car keeping on the theme of the UFOs and Omega if you guys missed my video a few days ago we spoke more about the character behind the UFO challenge known as Omega and the fact that when you actually meet him in single player he does unlock this space docker car so I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys so you could all go ahead and unlock the space docker car in GTA 5 online very very easily and I'm also going to go over a few more changes made with the Halloween update so as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest GTA 5 news all I ask is you do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as I do post daily GTA 5 videos with that being said let's get into the video okay so firstly of course today being october the 21st this is the first day where rockstar games have gone ahead and spawned in two ufos of course we can expect to see multiple ufos spawning in around gta 5 online later in the month however today we've seen a glimpse of one of the new ufos known as the stealth ufo now before i talk about the changes that rockstar games have made with the ufo event i'll quickly show you guys the locations of the ufos today so here's the location of the very first one the normal one central to the map in sandy shores very very easy to find a good trick to actually go to these ufos very very easily so you can capture them instantly is to actually go ahead and use the fast travel method with one of the races that are nearby and if you guys have no idea what i'm talking about with the fast travel method if i do remember i will leave a link down below in the comment section to a video that i made a few weeks ago showing you guys the most useful glitches and tricks that you have to know in gta 5 online in 2022 if you guys haven't seen that video do be sure to go ahead and watch it as it will make you guys a better player overall however as always all you have to do is simply go ahead take a picture of it and send it to omega and you guys will be receiving a very nice fifteen thousand dollars actually let me just rephrase is that a pathetic fifteen thousand dollars now as far as the other ufo it's over by the military base so not too far from the actual normal ufo here is the location on screen so once again there's like two races that are very very close to this if you spawn in at one of these races then you guys will be able to capture the ufo instantly now you will notice as you guys can see on screen the stealth ufo does look very different from the normal one and this one will also be offering you guys a bigger reward for taking a picture of this stealth ufo you guys are going to be receiving a nice 50k and if you ask me personally i think rockstar games should have offered 50k for every ufo it would have got a lot more players taking part in this challenge whereas 15k really isn't that much i suppose when you add it up all together every single ufo if you get every single 15k i believe you're going to make just under half a million dollars which isn't too bad but still is pretty bad considering you're taking pictures every single day leave your comments down below and let me know what you guys think however do not get it twisted this is not the ufo that's going to be abducting us there will be another ufo that will be spawning into the map soon for the halloween event that you guys will be getting abducted from now once you guys get abducted from that ufo that will unlock the boxer shorts so for you guys that maybe just want to unlock the boxer shorts and you're not too worried about unlocking these rare alien caps then just wait for the ufo to spawn in that abducts you and you guys should be able to unlock them and as always i will be sure to keep you guys up to date as soon as rockstar games do spawn in the new ufos now as far as the changes that rockstar games have made with the ufo event i thought rockstar games were going to address this because i've been making videos on this halloween event and i've had tons of comments from you guys telling me that certain ufos 
have not been spawning in you've tried joining new sessions clearing system caches even trying to use your second character and the ufos were just non-existent for you now it looks like this was to do with a bug to do with the timing reset from when rockstar games had this challenge set so rockstar games have noticed that this has been a bug and they've actually addressed it Tezfons2, who's a very, very credible data miner, he talks a lot about the background updates with these patches. Now, he went ahead and says, Missable UFOs on the 4th, the 7th, and the 9th have been set to photographed for everyone as bugs prevented progress. So for you guys that maybe didn't get those UFOs because they just weren't spawning in, don't worry, Rockstar Games have still marked them down as photographed for every single player. So I've seen a lot of people, like I said, commenting about this on my videos, wondering what the hell was going on, don't worry, just continue with the challenge and you guys should all unlock the rewards. Now, that wasn't the only thing Rockstar Games patched in the recent update. They also fixed the Tuna Daily and UFO Cycle Code, so it's updated regularly. And they've also fixed an issue with modding your Kara Kara at the MOC or Avenger. I'm not too sure how many of you guys have tried to mod your Kara Kara. Of course, it was a free podium vehicle a few weeks ago, so maybe that's the reason a lot more players have been using this random car. But Rockstar games have went ahead and fixed the issue now for you guys that like to use gta 5 money glitches rockstar games have went ahead and patched the facility dupe and sprint race merge glitch they've also patched the nightclub source goods cooldown bypass glitch they also patched the glitch which was allowing open wheel cars and the oppressor mk2 to be modified at the facility and finally they've patched a duplication glitch involving the heist apartment invite so for all of you guys that see these money glitches been reposted because guys recorded them two weeks ago and they try and put off like they still work all these glitches have been patched by rockstar games that I just spoke about i see a lot of players get frustrated with the gta 5 money glitch community because it is just full of fake videos a lot of these guys pre-record their glitches and even when rockstar games patch them the majority of these guys will not tell you that they're patched so honestly be skeptical when you guys are watching a lot of these money glitches from people that you've never seen before on youtube however rockstar games have also updated the prize ride and podium vehicles so we can expect to see the viserys being added as a prize ride as well as the comet sr the rebler gts and the baller st being added to the podium so if you guys are sitting there thinking why is this important to me if you guys own any four of these vehicles go ahead and sell them now as you guys will be able to get them for free in the coming weeks now like i mentioned at the start of the video this ufo event is given to us by a character known as omega who like i said unlocks the space docker car for us in single player now i spoke about this character a bit in a previous video like i said and i did see quite a few people leaving comments confused thinking that the space docker wasn't actually available in online well there is actually a way to go ahead and unlock it i did speak about this years ago on my channel but of course you guys may have just forgotten about that and the way to actually unlock this space docker car legit in gta 5 online is to reach tier 500 yes boys 500 on your arena war sponsorship tier so aka your ap tier level now if you guys have no idea what the hell i'm talking about what the hell is arena war sponsorship tier level aka the ap tier level of course you have a separate level up that you can get from playing the arena war game modes remember that dlc that came out a few years ago with the big arena where you guys can play all these crazy game modes in them including bumble flag wars i'm not gonna lie a lot of them are pretty fun however you guys will only unlock around 40 ap 60 ap maybe if you're lucky 70 80 if the lobby fills up per game so if you guys don't understand and you need me to spell it out to grind out these arena war game modes to unlock this space docker legitly and reach 500 will take you guys some serious serious grinding and that's exactly why i said in my previous video i hope with this omega character it does somewhat just unlock the card to be purchasable off an in-game website as i don't know hardly anyone that has unlocked this space docker car 100 legit and reached tier 500 as the ap level without having like a modern account and having everything unlocked for them so of course with this ufo event and a possible alien
alien invasion coming soon i know a few of you guys may be wanting to get in the mood of things and unlock this space docker well if you want to do so head over to the arena war stadium and start getting busy however that is going to do it for me guys as always if you guys do appreciate me keeping you up to date with all of the latest gta 5 news all i ask you to do return the favor by dropping a like down below and if you guys are new around here hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on as i do post daily gta 5 videos thanks a lot for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video peace